What if the internet suddenly stopped working worldwide? Imagine a world where you can't check your emails, social media, or even make an online transaction. Sounds like a nightmare, right? Well, it's a scenario that's not as far-fetched as you might think. What's up guys, it's Aaron Polo TV. Let's take a moment to ponder the magnitude of our reliance on the internet. It's not just about scrolling through social media feeds or streaming your favorite shows. The internet has become the lifeblood of our society, powering everything from banking transactions to healthcare services, from remote work to online education. It's the invisible thread that binds us all, making our modern world tick. But what if this thread were to snap? Imagine waking up one day to find that the internet has vanished. No emails, no online banking, no video calls. Your digital life as you know it put on an unexpected pause. The chaos that could ensue is unimaginable. Businesses would grind to a halt, financial markets would freeze, and our daily lives would be thrown into disarray. The world without the internet would be akin to a car without an engine, a ship without a rudder. It's a sobering thought, isn't it? And yet it's a possibility that we must confront. Solar activity is increasing, and with it, the risk of an internet apocalypse, a worldwide internet crash caused by a severe solar storm. While it might seem like a far-fetched scenario, it's not as improbable as you might think. Our sun, while being the source of life, can also unleash chaos in the form of solar storms. Imagine the sun as a colossal cauldron, bubbling and churning with unimaginable energy. This energy often erupts in two primary ways, solar flares and coronal mass ejections or CMEs for short. Solar flares are intense bursts of radiation, while CMEs are gigantic clouds of solar plasma hurled into space at mind-boggling speeds. These solar phenomena are more than just cosmic fireworks. They can disrupt Earth's magnetic field, creating what scientists call a geomagnetic storm. Picture an invisible shield around our planet, normally protecting us from solar radiation. But when a solar storm hits, it's like a cosmic sledgehammer, causing this shield to ripple and fluctuate. Now, you might be wondering, why should we care about these space weather events? Well, they have a knack for meddling with our critical infrastructure. They can induce electrical currents in power lines, causing blackouts. They can damage satellites, disrupting GPS and weather forecasting. They can even degrade pipelines leading to leaks, but it doesn't stop there. These storms have the potential to disrupt something we heavily rely on in our daily lives, the internet. Yes, that's right. The web of connections that allows us to work, learn, shop and stay connected with loved ones across the globe is vulnerable to the sun's fury. Our digital world is woven together by undersea cables and satellite links, but solar storms can interfere with these causing data loss and connection issues. And in an era where we're more connected than ever, a large-scale internet disruption could have far-reaching implications. So, next time you're basking in the warm glow of the sun, remember that it holds the power to not only nourish life, but also to send us into a digital dark age. The sun, in all its glory and fury, is a constant reminder of our connection to the cosmos and our vulnerability to its whims. And yes, this includes the internet, our lifeline to the digital world. Believe it or not, we've seen the impact of solar storms before. Let's take a trip back to the year 1859. The world was a different place then. The telegraph system was the most advanced form of communication, a far cry from our modern internet. Yet, it was not immune to the sun's fury. This period witnessed an event known as the Carrington Event, named after British astronomer Richard Carrington, who observed and reported on it. The Carrington Event was a massive solar storm, an intense burst of radiation hurled directly at our planet from the sun. It was so powerful that it disrupted the Earth's magnetic field, causing telegraph systems across Europe and North America to fail. Telegraph operators reported sparks leaping from their equipment, some even suffering mild shocks. Now imagine such an event in today's world where our reliance on digital technology is significantly higher. Our delicate electronics, the devices we use for everything from communication to navigation to finance are all at risk. The Carrington event serves as a stark reminder of the potential for widespread damage from solar storms. Our world has changed dramatically since 1859. With every new technological advancement we've woven digital technology more deeply into the fabric of our lives, and with each thread added the potential impact of a solar storm increases. The stakes are much higher now with our modern world so deeply intertwined with digital technology. So, what happens if a severe solar storm hits today? Just imagine if you will, our world plunged into darkness. The internet, our most vital communication tool, is rendered useless. The stock markets freeze, airplanes are grounded, hospitals lose power, and the very fabric of our digital lives is torn asunder. This is not a dystopian movie plot. 
This is the potential reality of a severe solar storm striking Earth. The economic fallout of such a devastating event is staggering. Every day, we rely on the internet and digital infrastructure for banking, healthcare, education, and entertainment. A disruption of these services could cost the U.S. economy between $10 to $20 billion daily. Yes, you heard that right, up to $20 billion each day. But let's not stop there. The ripple effects would be global. Economies worldwide are intertwined in this digital age. A disruption in one part of the world could trigger a domino effect, leading to global financial chaos. Yet, despite these grim prospects, there is a glimmer of hope. Proactive measures can be taken to fortify our digital infrastructure against solar storms. These efforts, however, come with a price tag. The cost of implementing an early warning system, hardening the internet and securing our digital assets may seem high. But when compared to the potential economic disaster and social unrest a solar storm could cause, these preventive costs are a drop in the ocean. Investing in these protective measures is not just about safeguarding our digital lives, it's about preserving our way of life, our society, and ultimately, our future. It's about creating a world that is resilient and prepared for the challenges that lie ahead. So, when we weigh the costs, the choice becomes clear. The cost of prevention pales in comparison to the potential damage. Is there anything we can do to protect ourselves from this looming threat? Well, the good news is that we're not sitting idle. There are teams of scientists and engineers who are working tirelessly to understand and monitor the sun's activities. Led by the likes of Professor Peter Becker of George Mason University, these projects aim to develop an early warning system for solar superstorms. This system would provide us with precious time to take protective measures before a storm hits, potentially saving billions in damages and preventing significant disruptions. But this is just the immediate solution. The long-term game plan involves hardening the internet. This means making our digital infrastructure more resistant to the effects of solar storms. It's a challenge, no doubt, considering the delicate nature of our electronics and the sheer scale of our global networks. But it's a challenge we must face head on. The need for proactive measures cannot be overstated. We can't wait for a storm to hit before we start thinking about how to deal with it. We have to start preparing now. And this preparation isn't just about technology. It's about policies about creating economic incentives to encourage the hardening of our digital infrastructure. It's about education, about raising awareness of the threat and the steps we can take to mitigate it. And let's not forget, this is a global problem. It's not something one country or one company can solve alone. It calls for international collaboration. We need to share resources, knowledge, and expertise. We need to work together. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. The internet doesn't recognize national borders and neither does the sun. The threat of an internet apocalypse is real, but with awareness, preparation, and global cooperation, we can fortify our digital infrastructure and weather any storm the sun throws our way.